Okay, so fuselage. I've cut out F2, F3 and F1. Uh, the process is we're going to add F1, then we're going to add F2. Then the wing seat doubler is going to drop in there like so. And then when we've done that, I'm then going to add the uh, strengtheners for the canopy. Okay, I've added formers F2, F3 using the set square. I've then put one side of the canopy hatch strengthener on. Do that first before you add the um, former F1. Because otherwise you won't get those. It will be harder to get in. There is a little notch for them, but uh, fit F1 afterwards. So that's going to drop in there like so, nice and square. Okay, so I've added the formers, either side glued. Um, I'm now two layers of this 3mm sheet. I've angled it so it will match just onto the back there. Now, when you glue this onto here, don't glue it across this former because you, you're never going to get the canopy off. So only glue along the top here. Okay, so I've successfully put the two sheets of the three mile on top. I've just left that. I'm using wood glue again. You can put a little bit of uh, cyano on the inside just to hold it in place. But remember, we want to do some sanding with this, and super glue is not for sanding. The next stage is the bottom sheeting. So the bottom sheeting, starting from F1, just slowly works back like so, where you've got these lovely matching lines. And they go on like so. And this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to glue all those on again with uh, wood glue. Now, when you come to do the top sheeting, do not do the top sheeting until we've put the um, control rod through. Because if we sheet the top, it's going to be very difficult to put the control rod through. Okay, so I've successfully done the bottom sheeting now. Top sheeting, I have just fed through the um, control tube all the way through. Don't glue it at the moment, it just needs to be there because the next thing is what we want to do is we want to add this sheeting and feed the tube through here because the tail, being a T-tail, the tail is going to sit on top and we need to feed that through the tail. Okay, I've added the first part of the top sheet. My advice is you will have to chamfer the sheet slightly to get it to a nice joint to butt up there. Then the next important piece is feeding your control tube through. And then we're going to sheet that down. Your control tube goes through the rear of the two slots. So the fin is going to engage in the front slot. And the push rod for the elevator is going to come up like so. Okay, so with our sheeting on the fuselage is drying, um, the next thing to do is to cut out on the accessory uh, sheet, we've got all the bits to build the fin. Now it's a sandwich between these two and these formers that go in between them to allow that control tube to uh, run through. Okay, so I've cut all the fin parts out and I have assembled the inner fin. So the idea is, is that this is going to be the inner part. These two pre-cuts sit either side. Now, two things we need to remember. We want to have enough of this sticking out the top here and here because that's where the tailplane is going to sit and we want enough overhanging here and here because that's where it's going to slot into the fuselage. So I plan to fit these parts onto one side of the fin. When I'm happy I'm then just going to loosen off this little bit here to allow the tube to feed through and then uh, making sure that this is clear as well all the way through. Then I will add 
the other side so I'm going to drop that onto there like so okay so I have um, added the intersections on the fin um, I will post a link of pictures of how I've done it now I am now just going to cut that out there and cut this little piece here ready to accept the tube when I'm happy that is all clear I'm going to glue this onto here like so just note how I've left the tags at the top for the uh, tail plane and also the tags at the bottom for it to join the fuselage okay so I have just run through, in fact actually the uh, wire for the push rod for the ailerons is quite useful and I've just made sure that they're clear. Um, you can um, use a hand, you know, Dremel for the small disc if you're very careful. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to offer that up to there like so. I'm going to make sure that all fits which it does and I'm happy about now. I'm now going to stop with this because the idea is this is now going to fit on here like so and then when we've glued that that will be ready to go but what I don't want to do is I'm not going to glue it or fix it now I'm now going to sand all my fuselage when I'm happy with the fuselage I'm going to come back finish this off and then um, it just gives you a little bit more flexibility okay the nose cone it's fairly easy this is your centre section and the idea is is that that matches up to there like so and then you put your smaller one on matching those edges and gluing them my advice is don't use super glue if you use super glue only super glue the centres because otherwise you'll find it very difficult to sand so that's what you're looking for one side so I'm going to glue all those together with my um, superfatic glue, clamp those, leave them, and then I'm going to glue that to the front of the nose. Okay, so I have glued the nose block on. Important to remember when gluing the nose block, only glue it to the F1. Don't glue it here because that's going to be part of the canopy and you'll never get your canopy off if you've glued it. So it's only this bit here. F1 and across the bottom that you glue. So now I'm going to sand the whole of the fuselage, sand this down. I'm going to take that down to just fitting on top of F1. The reason being is we will be adding this collection of blocks will be going onto the um, leading edge of the wing to give a nice aerodynamic shape. So let the sanding commence. Okay, so I have sanded my fuselage. Now, the next thing we have to do is to cut these um, little triangular slots out. Uh, good tip, don't cut them out if you've got your shed door open. Um, and then what we're going to do, we're going to seat the wing on there like so. Get it nice and square. And the idea is that these, with this curve, are going to sit on here. And what's going to happen is we'll then be able to have a nice aerodynamic finish. So I'm just going to offer these all up, clean them up, offer them all up. And then I'm going to have a go at sticking that surface, the wing surface, not this surface. I'm not going to use super glue. I'm going to use my alphatic resin so I can just move it about when I'm happy. I'm just going to gently lift it off and let it cure. So remember gluing these on, only glue the curve, not the flat surface. If you glue the flat surface as well, the wing's not coming off the back of the hatch. So that's why I'm using our fatic resin. Okay, doing the hatch. Um, this little tag here, all I did was I inserted that into the back of the former, like so. Put a tiny little bit of super glue just on that front edge there not on the tongue and then I just drop the hatch down held it in place and then gently removed and then added some more super glue along here and that has gone in perfectly now the one at the front 
that's the bracket, you, the little fitting you need, and I've inserted the um, magnet into it. And the idea is, is that the magnet then fits into there like so. Now, I'm not going to glue that. Now, I've got a confession to make. <laughs> I've wiped my, I went like that with my bench. <laughs> and I've lost my magnet. It, I don't know where it's gone. It, it will turn up in about 20 years' time. Uh, luckily, I have the same magnet, but just a slightly greater diameter, but the same... Um, thickness so what I'm going to do is make sure you get your magnet round the right way because they will repel each other so I'm going to drop that in there like so like that I'm not gluing the front the front magnet bracket at the moment all I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark that with a felt tip like so I'm going to pop that in there, so make sure that's in place. I'm going to pop that in there like so. I'm going to drop that down. And hopefully that's made a mark of where the um, magnet should go. Okay, so I have my uh, magnet. I've just ground a very, very small hole so it fits nice and flush. So my plan is make sure you've got the magnet in the right orientation. As otherwise it's going to spoil your day if it goes round the wrong way. So I've got that marked, I know which way round, and I've also marked it on that magnet as well. So the idea is, I'm now going to use some of my alphatic glue. I'm not going to use super glue because it will go off too quickly. I'm just going to add some wood glue to here, just to here, either side. I'm going to feed it into this slot, and then I'm going to add my canopy like so, and that will fit in there like that. And there you go, that's one hatch stuck down with the magnets. So, I have added one half of my fin with the uh, cable running through. Uh, at the moment I'm not adding any glue, so I'm going to add, I've just glued it at the fence post, at the tail here and at the front just to secure it in place. It, I know it's all square, it's not firmly fixed at the moment. I'm now going to add this, I'm going to glue everywhere except where the uh, cable runs at the moment. Um, and I will just glue here, across the top, down here and all the infills using some um, alphatic glue and then when it's fully fixed and I'm happy I'm going to run some cyano just down the edges here to keep it firmly in place then when it's in place I'll very gently just put some um, I'll round the leading edge off could have rounded the leading edge off before I put it on but I thought possibly it would make a neater job when I've done it so anyway that's the fin going to crack on Okay, so I've sanded all the wing, very happy I've got no rough spots. I'm now getting ready for covering, so I'm just cutting through the laser line and then I'm just popping the knife down and then it's so good that I don't even need to use a ruler as long as you haven't sanded it away. There you go, one aileron. I'm going to put this to one side, I'm going to put the chamfer on it and then uh, just, make, just make a little mark at one end with a little bit of biro or something so that you know which one is which. You should be able to identify it but um, in the heat, of the heat of the battle I'm just going to mark this one so I know it's going to be the right hand side.